Welcome to Excel Magistrick number 804. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, Excel Magistrick 803 to 805, click on the link below the video. Hey, I'm going to uh, steal an idea from Mr. Excel Podcast 1426. Now, in that video, he had a little data set. And he had these dynamic labels. And watch, here's what he did. He linked each one of these chart labels to the cell over here. In this video, I want to show you an alternative. Now, this alternative I do not think is as visually powerful as the way Mr. Excel did it, but it is an alternative. Watch this. When you hit F9, right? You can clearly see the excellent is up high and the OK is down low. Remember, the whole point of a, of a chart is to visually articulate your message forcefully and quickly. Well, I mean, these labels are the same down here, but I think these ones are uh, a better way to go. But I do want to show you this alternative. And the, the benefit is it's not hard to do this, where it is a little bit labor intensive to create these dynamic labels. If you didn't see that video, go search for that video. Totally awesome. All right, I'm going to click over here. First thing is we have our sales, right? And we have the RAN between just to simulate what would happen each day that you filled out this temple. The numbers are changing. Well, we want our labels to change also. So we have a little scale over here, right? So simply use, just like Mr. Excel did, VLOOKUP. Now I'm going to look up. Uh, that, comma, and here's the lookup table, right? So it races through the first column, finds the match, and then goes over and gets this. The table, I have to lock it with F4, comma, the column, that's the column which has the item you want to return, so I'm going to put a 2. It's sorted in ascending order, so I can leave off the fourth argument. Good. All right, so I copy this down, and now when I hit F9, we have our uh, dynamic labels as well as our dynamic numbers. Now this is just simulating, right? You'd fill out this template each day uh, with new daily sales. Now, I'm going to highlight everything, and that's what's so nice about this method, is I just have to have my categories here in this order, and then I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut for default chart. I know it's column on my computer, Alt F1. Notice they immediately show up there. So the only advantage to this method is that it's super easy. They just show up right there. Now I'm going to delete that. I'm going to click the column and then control. Notice all the columns are selected. Control 1. All right. Fill. I'm going to say vary colors, just like Mr. Excel did. And on series, I copy Mr. Excel again and, and increase the gap width so there's not that much space between. And then click close. All right. So um, maybe something like delete this right here. And then when I hit F9, there's no labels at the top, but they are changing down here. So that's just an example of how to have two labels on the horizontal axis. As long as you set them up in your data set, the chart whistle will interpret them and set them up like that. All right, see you next trip.